So, you bought a Mavic, a thousand dollar quadcopter. What to do next? Stay tuned and I will take you through the necessary steps to get it from box to hovering in the air. Step 1. Unpack what you need. Control, phone cables, props, Mavic and manual. Step 2. Remove the props. The way you do that is just push them down and turn them and take them off. This is a, a safety measure to make sure that, uh, that you don't turn on uh, the props by accident. The next thing that you want to remove is uh, the gimbal uh, fixture. And that is very important that you remove that every time that you, uh, you operate uh, the Mavic. Step 3 is charging. You charge the battery and the controller with the charger that is uh, in the package. You have to estimate around 60 to 80 minutes to charge the main battery for the Mavic. Once the charging has been completed, you can mount it back into the Mavic. Step 4. Mount the phone in the, the controller. You have to pick the right cable and there's three cables delivered with this. And uh, in this case, we have picked the cable that fits the Android phone. It can be a little fiddly at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's fairly easy. Step five, you have to download the DJI Go or DJI Go 4 app. They are available for both Android in the Play Store and iOS in the Apple Store. And both versions will right now work for the Mavic. Step six, power on and activate your Mavic. First, you need to power on the controller. You do that by double tapping. First a short tap, then a long press. Next, you need to power on the Mavic, and you do that on top of the, the button that is on top of the battery. And again, short press after a long, uh, thereafter a long press. Next, you launch the DJI Go app, and in this case, it's the Android version, and it's the Go app and not the Go 4 app. first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to accept the terms and conditions and then you have to then you start the activation process and the first thing that you uh, have to do is to name your aircraft after you have named your aircraft you are asked to select mode and we have selected mode 2 which is the most common used mode for uh, rc models after the mode selection you have been asked to assign some functions which is below the remote and after that you are asked to select units and video output and in this case it's uh, metric and pal because i'm in europe the app suggests that you start in beginner's mode, which is a very good choice because this will limit the movement of the aircraft and, uh, and make it easier for control if this is the first time that you fly a drone. Now you need to sign in or register an account uh, at DJI. In my case, I already have an account, so I just sign in. And now you activate your aircraft. Activation is a success. And now you have access to additional resources like tutorials and uh, the built-in flight simulator. Now it's really important to keep in mind that you have 48 hours from this point to activate your DJI Care Refresh uh, Insurance. If you pass that window of opportunity, it's uh, not possible to have that insurance. Now your aircraft has been activated and uh, the camera option is available on the front screen. When you press that, you go into the live screen and you can actually see what the, the drone is seeing uh, in the camera. After you have activated the Mavic, it's a good test to see if uh, you can fire up the app and also test if the optical uh, positioning system is uh, working. Because we are indoors, we don't have any GPS signal. So uh, you can try and lift the Mavic and see if uh, it switches 
and uh, becomes green and that tells you if the vision detection system is working. Step seven, mount the props. And uh, it is the same procedure as taking them off. You need to push down and turn them. And the ones with the gray marking, it should fit the motors with the gray indicators and vice versa. Step eight. Whenever you are prompted with a firmware update, I highly suggest that you apply this uh, right away, as this could influence the stability and the safety of the aircraft. Step nine, pre-flight checks. Number one, make sure your phone has plenty of battery. Number two, make sure to switch your phone into flight mode. Three, make sure you have good GPS reception. Four, make sure to check your home position has been updated. Look at the map below in the controller window. Five, don't ignore warnings in the GGI Go or Go4 app. Step 10, know your sticks. The right stick pushed forward will have make the Mavic go forward. If you push it back, the Mavic will go back towards you. If you push your stick left, the Mavic will move left. If you push it right, the Mavic will go right. The left stick, if it's pushed up, the Mavic will ascend. If it's pushed down, the Mavic will descend. And if you take the left stick and uh, push it either right or left, the Mavic will turn either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Step 11, we're ready to hover. You do that by pressing the takeoff button in the app and uh, the Mavic will hover to 1.2 meters and stay there. Step 12, landing. This can be done in two ways. One way is to land it through the app with the auto land button. Or the Mavic can be landed manually with the left stick bringing it down to touch the ground and then pushing both sticks inwards to disarm the Mavic. This concludes our basic start guide to getting uh, the Mavic into the air. Now it's time to go and have some fun. Happy flying! Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you saw, hit the like button below. If Or leave a comment in the comments field. We'll see you on the next one.